Robos here, playing more from the depths. I had a small delay in my video making. They've been building balconies here. It's been pretty loud. And I've been pretty lazy. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It is time to become larger than life. We need to build something much bigger. I've imported the old Ragnarok turret, just for size comparison. And oh, it's a big boy. It had four of these. I think it's this is the small one from the bow. In real life, they often measure ships by the beam. So we have to make one big beam. It's a good way to start any shipbuilding. I'm having inner conflicts right now. A part of me wants it logical and reasonable. But it is also my primal instincts. Make it bigger, Robert! Bigger! There we go. Gotta build in the editor. Less fuss, easier to do. It needs to have a vague boat shape. Just to have something to mold and form from. Nice. That's a pretty good uh, blank slate. Blank slate. Blank slate? Blank, blank, blank. I want a lot of armor, but... Will it float if I make something this thick? I mean, it would sink if it gets penetrated. Right? Whoop. It's gonna be both vertical and diagonal armor. That way we're gonna have two different sets. If we get shot and penetrated, there won't be big gaping holes into the ship. Look at this, keyboard builders. Look how effective I am with the mouse. Suck my dick. This works. It's thick. I am marking where the turrets are going to be, but since the ship is so thickly armored, the innards gets longer. So I'm thinking about putting more turrets on this thing. I'm gonna have... Don't crash. I'm gonna have double thick uh, top armor, but we're also gonna slope armor above it for spacing. All turrets will have spaced neck armor. I'm trying to put on some sloped armor too. Just like on the edgelord. To bounce. I'm going to go. I've been trying to get to, to, to scuba. I'm fucking going insane building this bow. I keep rebuilding and rebuilding. I've never been diagnosed with autism. But sometimes I wonder if I'm just good at this. Or, you know. If I had too many vaccines as a kid. Eh. I have fucked it up. The new shape is so much better. But should I really cut off everything I made? Yes. It has to be done. <laughs> what an absolute waste of time. I'm gonna have to cut off half the boat. Having the entire side of your ship angled, that would be a pretty good advantage. <laughs> Dude. The gods of slope smiles on me today. Can you say the same, Imperial? I'll be using alloys on the inside because of uh, we have to save weight. I don't want this thing to sink. I love all these specialized blocks they've added. No more limitations. You can do whatever you want. The Indian isn't going to be that important. Because this entire ship is and will be non-shielded. Alright. It floats and it boats. It's uh, not very quick though. 10 meters a second. That's pretty sluggish. I'll run some water ski holes for the Indians. It'll push all the water through those little holes. And it works! 10 meters a second! Wait, is this actually working? <gasps> what the fuck?! I don't even need windows! I could literally use monitors to look outside. This changes everything. <laughs> I'm gonna slope cameras all around my ship. I'm even gonna. I'm even sloping my wish, wi vision, vision. Commander Robert, windows are just structural neural weaknesses. Ooh! <laughs> Look at this! Oh my God! This game is so cool. Oh no! I can hear them. Oh sh the fuck! 
I'm getting a new balcony built, by the way. Look at that cute little uh, bench. I'm, do I have to? Am I gonna hear this the entire time? Oh fuck off! They are outside my window. How much is that? How much is being picked up? Oh god! <laughs> they pulled the fucking hole. <laughs> I have two holes in my wall. I'm not shitting. In both corners of my living room. This literal. Hang on, let me show this. Hang on. Look at this. They almost hit the radiator pipes. I can I can feel a breeze in here. It's the light trying to come in. Robert, come out and play. If I rip out the floor here, you can actually see the space armored layer here. Just so we don't cook up from a bomb or heat shell. I'm only going to use double barrels in my turrets. There's simply not enough space inside to separate three guns. All the coolant is gonna be inside of the neck. That way all the ammo and explosive stuff will be safely tucked inside the belly. <laughs> it's like a cocoon. A cocoon for my ammunition and auto feeders. Hopefully we won't sink. Putting heavy armor all around. But it's a uh, sloped heavy armor, so it's half the weight. Look at that. Spaced armor. Now we just have to slope the armor as well. We're gonna be bouncy and heat proof. Simple weapons are really good at shooting down missiles. And it doesn't matter where you, which way you put these blocks. Cram them down, hook them up to the AI. It just works. It has to be these uh, uh, dual ones. Otherwise they can't turn quick enough to shoot the missiles. Unless you take the bigger ones and have a fixed angle on them. The only thing I want to carry over from the Pilkington fleet is the color scheme. It's like a continuity, you know? A continuation. It's a little annoying when different blocks get different colors. But look at this. You won't even notice. Just half ass everything. Oh shit, I just came to think of something. Ah, oh, shit! The turrets are blocked by the AA. Damn it! I have to change them all? I'll shove them down the hole. <laughs> Structural integrity be damned. Dude, that actually looks really good. It's like they are hidden inside a hole. I love it. Look how menacing it is. I stripe the turrets a bit. Like I did ass. Allow me to present... The HMS Baltimore, the pride of uh, Maryland, destroyers of hope and dreams. She is the edgy side of the American dream. We can literally spawn a marauder and sit inside the ship watching the action unfold outside. It's like playing a video game within a video game. That's very low <laughs> resolution. Nice. Alright, let's try out my 500mm high explosive shells. They don't give a hoot about your boot. Your boat. That was a pretty bad joke. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, whoa, wait. Total annihilation. Above the cockpit, we have all of the detections, rangefinders, and such. And the cameras, so we can see a widescreen of the front. I wanted to make a turret with a camera on, but that wasn't possible, sadly. That would have been too cool. You might ask yourself, what's with the tacky orange floor, Robert? Well, it's the orange roof of my new and improved Mac Walrus. Brought into the digital age with memes and brandings. You might have noticed that the windows aren't windows at all. They are also TVs. Uh, I can have diabetes? God damn right, walrus. And you'll definitely get it in here. Fucking cocks producing their own insulin? You'll inject it yourself. The kitchen got fridges, some a dishing area, grilling top and deep fryers. 
And the same old, same old proven menu, but no salad. Salad is grass, and we don't eat grass. In here we have the cinema. You can actually watch videos on that thing if you pop down some files. YouTube used to work, I think? I can't remember. Back here we have the crew quarters. Lots of rooms for the crew. And beds. And a lava lamp. You can venture wherever you want on the ship. All the air pockets are traversable. It makes everything more cute and adorable, being able to go wherever you want. Here we have a turret ring armor. The hallway is the heat protection. Down the belly of the beast, we have the the AI, the brains of our operations. I try to make it look a bit more matrixy, so you can walk on top of the mainframe. I don't know how other builders do it, but I put all my ammo in a big box. Seems safe enough, I guess. Easier to protect that way. These are the guns. They're not remotely professional normally made. You can probably make them more efficient than these. They're a bit wonky. It's very hard to talk about the ship and walking around. So I am just going to show you the insides. No. <laughs> it worked! It'll be like the cross section of a hamburger. Kinda does actually with the yellow and red. I can start from the back and go forward. There's actually no Indian here in the back anymore. There just isn't enough buoyancy in the back for it to float properly. Here we have a turret with... Oh, we have... I fucked up the space armor here a bit, I noticed. Here we have Mac Walrus acting like a big piece of spaced armor. We have the AI down here, below Mac Walrus. More anti-missile controllers, controlling my simple guns. Here's a good example on the spaced armor of my neck. The Ragnarok got knocked out very easily by heat rounds. Shouldn't be as easy anymore. Some spaced armor here as well. And here's a smaller neck portion. I squeezed the Indian into the front, between two of the turrets. It doesn't need much power anyway. There's also a barrage of anti-torpedo torpedoes and sonars below the hull. Oh, the bow might actually have too much buoyancy. That's why it's the ass is being pushed down. You can actually walk to all of these air pockets. I'm going to try my armor. So hold fire. We want to take a beating. We want to see how strong we are. The AAs are gonna be weak points. Oh! Dude, did that turret just bounce two shells? It has to be my sleek, slopey design. <laughs> oh shit! Fuck. It didn't seem like it took any damage that though. Oh! Holy shit! Alright, time to fight back. Here we go. 500mm high explosive shells. No penetration, sadly, but hey, I'm peeling him. Very well. It barely took any damage. Except in the bow, though. But there's no heavy armor here. Oh, 853,000 materials. Not that bad. Oh god, armor is 50% of the boat. <laughs> Dude, this thing is a hard nut. I don't have enough time to actually go and attack stuff with it. But at least we can start building it. Ah, oh, we don't have enough uh, resources here. But the first base should have a bunch of it now. I should have to wait a bit for this thing to be built. I wish there was a way I could, like, pipeline my uh, structures together. Oh, no! Very well. Like a favorite, this shit. Build a new balcony today. Forget the new. Oh, the no, one. <laughs> Can they hear me? 